What's up guys? Welcome back into the Millennial Profit. My name's Adam and I'm a full-time reseller. If you're new here, I show you all different kinds of ways to make money. So if you like money, hit that subscribe button. Today I've got another what sold video for you guys. Another wild weekend. So we're going to dive right into it. I'm going to get everything gathered up and then we're going to show you everything that's sold and I'll show you the profit I made on everything after we take out all our costs. So let's get into it. All right, so this legit took me like an hour to get everything gathered up, but let's just start here. Oh, we sold something else right now. I don't even know what that is to be. Oh, a hat, 25 bucks. Let's get into it with our smaller items. So we sold lots of wristbands. Football season is here and most of my wristbands are football related. So I sell these for three for $10. So you can do the math, there's a lot there. <laughs> then uh, these, you know, I've talked about these patches before, three for $10 on these as well. And I got those at about 20 cents a piece. Then we got all of our cards here. Um, so I had a lot of card auctions and um, these Herberts, I got five for the pink one and four for this one. Um, the Patrick Sertan, I got 450 for, I believe. Uh, Trevor Lawrence, I got 16 for. Claypool, I got four bucks. And Fields, this is a lot of three, actually. This is a bigger top loader. And I got, I think, 15 for this one. And if you haven't watched my videos in the past, you're probably like, well, how are you making money on $4? Um, as I've explained, you send it in an eBay standard envelope. Um, I'm actually gonna make a whole video on that because I've had a couple of people request that. So maybe this week, possibly next week, um, I just gotta get that shot. All right, then let's come over here. Oh my goodness. Again, another big flag weekend. Um, I didn't update them this weekend. They've just been taking off since I updated them last weekend. So I'm going to let them ride until they start to die. And then we're going to pull the listings and try again. And holy Squishmallow. What a weekend we had with the Squishmallows. I actually am going to have an entire video on these as well. Because I did a little experiment to see if it was better to do auctions or buy it now on hot items like these. So we're going to crunch the numbers and let you guys know if you find something like this or a hot Christmas toy, if you should do an auction or if you should do buy it now. So I think that was pretty interesting. So we'll see how that turns out. Um, but the big ones here were $23, the huge one. And there's a size in between these and these. I don't have that. I believe this size is 13. Um, and then this size that's just under that is eight and the small small size i believe is like 487 or something like five bucks somewhere around there um and i'm getting anywhere between 17 and 20 for the small ones i also lotted them these i'm getting about 23 to 28 these i'm getting like 35 to 40 and the big ones i'm getting like 60 plus so again i've got a video coming on those where i'll explain the exact prices and stuff on all these that sold um and i listed some at buy and now some at auction and we'll see what did best so stay tuned for that that one should be later this week i've got so many videos playing it's hard to get them all shot because obviously i'm trying to run a entire business too but making videos is really fun so i'm gonna do my best to uh, get those out there all right next we got this lamborghini i got this for 10 bucks from home buys and that was like a couple weeks ago and i already sold it for like 38 dollars. so easy money there i got these two funko pops from bread and butter we called these out it is uh the loci alligator these were 11.99 plus shipping um it was like five bucks to ship them both and i sold them for $35. So I probably could have held on to those till season two, but I got some more loci pops as well. So I just flipped two so I could uh, pay for them. Then we got this peanuts sheet set. Here's another free bolo for you. Um, so I showed you the Ray Dunn sheet sets. These peanut ones go well too. This one was only $16.99, sold it for $45. So easy flip there. We got these Nike flip flops. I got these from Kohl's for free. If you remember that video, I really don't have that many of those left, which is pretty crazy um, I used my Kohl's cash from the pools and sold these for 35 bucks so this warrior shirt I got this from Gabe's for three dollars sold it for 17.99 so not big but all these small flips add up uh, these World Series champion Cubs shirt I actually have an entire case of those if anyone's interested in those I got like 200 of those um, in a wholesale lot so if you're interested in those definitely reach out to me they're selling all right but i'm looking to wholesale it out to someone else if someone wants to uh, mess with those 
We got these Oregon bows. I didn't pay two fifty for them. I paid like five cents a piece. Someone bought three of them on Poshmark for like ten bucks. Then we got Rob Gronkowski Oyo. That was in a lids palette a long time ago that I'm way in the profit on, and we sold that for ten bucks on Mercari. These were a bit of a long hold. This was like November last year from Burlington, but I only paid, I believe like 30 bucks for these and I just sold them for a hundred dollars. So they're Florida Gators and shoes, but they're size 15. So I knew they would take a while to sell, but I sold them at $100 even. If you ever get shoes that are around there, don't sell at 99.99. I normally say to sell to the 99 cent because it makes it look better. But when they're over a hundred for athletic shoes, you don't have to pay fees. So you make an extra 10 bucks there if you do that. Then as I talked about in my top cooks of the month, this uh, cat backpack, we sold it for $190. Had I believe 89 in it, so nice flip there. Another free bolo for you guys from the cook group. These Disney shower curtains. This is a Mickey um, pumpkin one. $16.99, sold for 50. Nothing big, but we're gonna take this off and it won't weigh much and it'll be a nice, easy ship. And we got, we sold two of these. These were from Bread and Butter as well. We called these out, oh, like three weeks ago. This was from the Top Cooks as well. I only have one left. I had four of them. And I sold these each for $115 a piece. The price slowly dipped as everyone got them in. But again, we only had $32 in those. So really, really good money flip and such an easy item to ship. And we got these Kentucky slippers. This was from a Lids palette as well. And sold that for 20 bucks. Then we got the Delta Airlines slippers. This is it for them. My last 10 for 30 bucks. Um, and I got these for five cents a pair from BitFTA. Sad, sad times. I got these from BitFTA as well. These poster books, five cents a piece. They weren't worth selling individually. So I lotted them together, all 10 of them for like 20 bucks. Um, and that'll be a nice easy ship. We'll just slide into a padded mailer with a little protection on the outside. And we'll start here with our in-store hats and then we'll get to our pallet hats. So we actually got this beanie that was actually 99 cents it was when burlington first came back from the pandemic and they were 50 percent off everything um and i sold this for 15 bucks this was from fanatics online clearance event for three dollars and fifty cents i believe and i sold it for 17.99 this was also from that burlington comeback event um it was five bucks and i sold it for 27 this was from Marshalls for $12.99, I believe. Sold it for $30. This was from Marshalls as well for $10. Sold it for $26. Another Marshalls for $2.99. Sold it for $17. This is from that Ohio State auction that I won. So I paid like a dollar, two dollars for this, and I sold it for $16. And then this was from my Chicago sourcing trip. These are moving pretty well. Um, 10 bucks and sold it for 30 bucks. Uh, then let's not leave out our lone hoodie over here. $20 for these hoodies and I paid a dollar, dollar 40 for them. So that was great. You remember that video. If not, you're going to have to go back and watch it. Then we got all these from pallets a while back. Again, I haven't had a hat pallet in a long time. So these are anywhere from two to four dollars a hat. Uh, sold this Arkansas Woo Pig Suey hat for 20 bucks. BYU hat for 20 bucks. OSU real tree hat. It's a small medium, so it only went for 12 bucks. And Razorbacks like throwback logo, 20 bucks. So that will do it for everything that's sold, guys. Now we're going to package up probably another four or five hours, and then we will end this video and show you guys the total profits that we made here. All right, guys, it's been about three hours, and I have not gotten much done. So we called out a coin drop and bread and butter, and literally it took me an hour to get any, but I ended up getting two of them, and they were $175 each. Look what they are selling for right now. Easy money, baby. On the negative, it's 1.30 already, and I still have all this to package. So let's see if I can get this done before the post office closes. All right, guys, we are cutting it close on time. It's four o'clock now. I got an hour before the post office closes. Another insane weekend. Literally got the entire car full. There's no room in the back seat or the trunk. Literally, like, just having that coin drop in the middle just, like, broke everything up, and it took so long today. Um, so I'm going to try to wrap this up fairly quickly. 
Um, so on eBay, we sold 59 items for $1,905. On Facebook Marketplace, we sold 29 items for $565. On Mercari, we sold three items for $46. And on Poshmark, we sold one item for $10 for a total of 92 items for $2,526. Now we need to subtract out our fees of $266, our shipping of $579, and our cost of goods sold of $668. For a net profit of $1,013. Now, as always, we need to multiply that by 52 to see what we would do net profit just on the weekends, and we get $52,000. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Again, I'm truly, truly blessed to be able to do this as a full-time job, and I owe it all to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I would not be where I am today without him. So that'll pretty much wrap this video up. So again, if you're interested in joining Bread and Butter, we are actually closing the group next Tuesday, as in we will not be accepting new members unless you're referred by a current member. And we will open it up again in the future, but that could be a while down the road. So if you're interested in it and you want to give it a shot, then you can do so first link down in the description. If you have any questions or anything, um, hit us up on Instagram at Bread and Butter Group. Again, $30 is nothing in something that could change your business or give you a little kickstart to your business. Scared money don't make money, I always say, and it takes money to make money. So if you've been considering it, now is the time to do so because we'll be closing it in a week. If you're not already following me on Instagram, you can do so at millennial underscore profit. There's money to be made everywhere, guys. Let's go get it. Thank you for watching The Millennial Profit.